Hi, welcome to Around the World in As Long As It Takes. I'm Karen. I'm Dwayne. I'm cold. <laughs> I'm Katie. I'm cold. <laughs> Hello, cold. How you doing? <laughs> that was funny, though. You're going to be even colder when we go to Norway and Sweden <laughs> and see the Northern Lights. We're coming to you from our brand new VW craft van, which looks like a bit of a death scene at the moment. It's not brand new. It's a 2013. It's brand new to new you. New to us. <laughs> yes. We're going to be the intrepid team who are going to make up around the world in as long as it takes. I came up with the name, didn't I? You did. Good name. I think it was based on the fact that we wanted to go around the world. And, and it's going to take a long time. <laughs> not 80 put, days. <laughs> Definitely not going to take 80 days, though. So, and we didn't want to put a light time limit on it. So, thank you. <laughs> uh, so, in 2016, we came up with this idea that we wanted to do some travelling. We were getting tired of living in bricks and mortar and just working every day and kids going to school. We'd uh, taken all the kids out of school. I think mm. going on the home aid journey takes you out the box anyway. Half the reason we moved here in the first place 18 years ago was to be able to travel more. And we thought, well, why are we tying ourselves down mm. to this box and this routine? And suddenly you realise, I don't actually need, need to be in this house. I don't need to be in this area. So we thought we need to get completely out of the box and go and travel. We started watching a lot of YouTube videos. Yeah. And I think that's when the bug bit. But I think the problem was that all the families that we watched either took all their children with them or they didn't have any children at all. And obviously we stuck mm -hmm. in a grey land in between where we've got three older boys that aren't interested in coming to travel because they're too busy with their own lives. So the original idea was to sell the house last year. So we spent all of last year doing the house up, buying a big motor home. So hopefully the boys would come and join us on some holidays. Yeah. Uh, that was the idea. So if you have a look at some of our NEC videos from last February and October, you'll find they were very focused on the motorhomes, uh, especially the big six-seater ones, because that was the plan originally. That in, well, when we went to the NEC in February last year, yeah. we, uh, we found Just Go, yeah. yeah. And um, they were doing these uh, collection trips in Italy where they'd go to the Tregano factory and pick up their new fleet for the next year. And um, they'd, so they'd fly people out there, you pick up the van, you've got seven to ten days to drive the van back to the UK. What we did was we recorded the whole trip, we eventually finished editing the trip <laughs> almost a year later. Uh, so I think there's seven or eight episodes in, in the playlist. That was kind of our test run, we wanted to make sure we could um, sort of leave the bricks and mortar, rely on mobile data. Uh, I'm still going to be working the whole time we're traveling. I work in telecoms and I can work from anywhere. I've worked halfway up Table Mountain, just about on a motorway in Cape Town. Yeah. I've worked from on a, a game field. Farm. Yeah. Camping in a field in Wales. Regularly work in the car <laughs> while we're driving. Yeah, I drive normally. I'm not yeah. going to be driving this though. <laughs> Definitely not. I haven't even put my name on the insurance to make sure that he's not going to make me yeah. drive this. No. And that whole trip, I would work in the van. So, yeah. you know, we, with the trip was from a Friday to a Friday. Yeah. And Monday to Friday, um, you know, I'd, I'd spend three, four, five hours driving. And the rest of the time, I'd be in the van working with my usual customers. Uh, some of them, you know, didn't even know that I was traveling at the time. Um, so. Get away with it. Yeah, and that was a big confirmation, you know, if I can work at, in a van at the top of the Alps or next to a lakeside in Switzerland, then really I can, yeah. we can do this, can't we? So. I think one of the other things was downsizing, everybody always carries on about that, mm. that hasn't really been a problem for us because we're quite minimalist right. anyway. I've got a three drawer, chest of drawers from Ikea which have all my clothes in and has had for the last five years. Mm. So. And same for you. And yeah, Katie's got I'm... one drawer with all her clothes in. So we're not really clothes no. kind of people. Um, so that's not really a big problem. So from a space point of view, we'd be fine. And then the third factor that people always consider is spending time together. Oh, you know, it's going to be really hard adjusting because yeah. most people work full time and, mm. you know, you're busy with the family. I think having Katie homeschooled for the last two years, we spend almost 24-7 together anyway. So we're really used to spending a lot of time together. Um, you know, unless I'm out working part time or whatever, but we do, we do actually spend a lot of time together anyway. Mm. So yeah, and that week was fine. We really enjoyed it. We got on well. It was great. She actually helped with dishes and preparing the food. Yeah, so it was sure. actually almost nice the way it's here. We each get on with our own thing, and she's yeah. got you know her stuff that she does, and I do my stuff, and you do your work, and we almost uh, even though we're in the same house together, we're not actually spending that much quality time mm. together. So the idea 
was and also because you've got your own business you don't get any leave really as such you yeah work i don't months, i don't so. get any leave i work 365 days a year yeah, even when we do go away like yeah. and that's why i'd be working you know on the motorway in cape town because we're there on holiday and i'm still getting calls from customers i'm still yeah. having to deal with emergencies and so i just work whenever wherever i am and whenever yeah so. but it's quite exhausting because we never actually get proper family time and proper mm. away time and that was one of the things that why we came up with the idea to travel we thought yeah. well if you have to work six seven hours a day at least have the other hours a day yeah. somewhere, somewhere on holiday. Yeah. So instead of having a holiday altogether, our holiday would be more spread out. Mm. Um, we could enjoy, and we came up with our motto, collect moments, not mm. things. And that was step one, was cutting down on the things. I mean, there were a lot of things we had to cut back yeah, on. Mm. There were a lot of things we had to sell. There's a lot of things we've had to say, right, we're not collecting any more stuff. Mm. <laughs> so that mindset had to change. But I think we, we, I think we transitioned to that quite easily. Yeah. Because we're not really a stuff kind of people. Well, you are technology wise. I don't even want to know what size the box of cables is that's going to come with us. <laughs> but um, yeah, from that point of view, I think it was fairly easy. So we, we're mm. quite confident that we'll adapt to the lifestyle, even though we've got Katie with us. Well, pretty much all of last year, we were planning to buy a motor home from you know the equity in the house, uh, as well as clearing some of our debt. The, the house was on the market we eventually got some offers coming in on the house um, and some of them were really low but uh, in that same week it was also our wedding anniversary some of the kids started voicing the fact that actually now that we sell in the house they didn't want to sell it yeah they wanted so, to hang oh, on we to love it. the house and we're never going to get a yeah. house this nice again and we want to stay home yeah. we thought well actually when we're not traveling we need a, a home base anyway yeah we also needed so, that so yeah. But it was financial, which is why we were selling in the first place. And mm. then things started to change towards the end of the year, yeah, which made it a bit more viable. Up, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, we went away for the anniversary weekend and uh, we kind of decided, you know what, if, um, if the current people that were looking come in with a, a full offer, then we'll accept it. And if not, then we're going to think of a plan B. So we spent the, the anniversary weekend yeah, coming up plan with plan B. B. Yeah. We'd actually got to the point on that weekend, we we decided maybe we're not going to sell the house <laughs> because all of these other reasons that have sort of come up recently um, and instead we would maybe look to buy something smaller, uh, a van, do a self-build on, on a van and then what, we got back from the, the weekend away having made up our minds, okay, we're not going to sell the house and instantly we got a full offer on the house. So. <laughs> As you do. I generally go with my gut reaction to how things happen and mm. when the call came through I was disappointed and that just confirmed to me that my main mind was made up that I didn't want to sell the house anymore I just need to convince again. Mm -hmm. You took a bit longer. Yeah, did. I did. <laughs> I, I hadn't quite become convinced that you know we definitely were going to do that because we'd worked all year to get to the point of selling our house now we had this like really short space of time where we decided we weren't going to sell the house an offer came in so we refused the offer, take the house off the market. The whole year was kind of to waste. And, and then in a week's time, we decide actually we do want to sell the house. You know, that's a missed opportunity. And so I wasn't so keen to just abandon the plans completely. I wanted to take some time. And then what, I sat down on Boxing Day. And we did a ninja budget. Yeah, I sat a, did a full budget. I looked at my business's budgets. I looked at my uh, person, our personal budget. and um, You got a new contract in. Yeah, I got a new contracts. job at work. So I yeah. had extra hours at work. We were getting some extra money in. Yeah. So finances were going, going well. We were starting to pay off some debt. And yeah. then, yeah, January, once we'd made the decision, in yeah. January we got a little windfall. And that helped. Because um, we were saving up. We should have had enough money by April. Um, yeah, and then we were planning so to we had buy half the money for the van uh, now mm. in January, and then we thought, okay, well, we'll just look around till April, and then we had a little windfall coming, which was quite nice. Mm, thank you, PPI. And, <laughs> and uh, so yeah, we started more aggressively looking yeah, for Yeah, we van, suddenly had enough had money no right then and there to yeah. to get something in the price range we were looking, and uh, we saw a couple of Viveco dailies that I'm were like, huge. Get them now. I, mean, you literally, I, I literally was able to extend my hand above my head and flat palm on the roof. That's how tall it was. And it was an extra long wheel base. I think yeah. inside there was like 
5.3 meters yeah, or something? They were, they were huge. They were really huge. nice from space point of view, but the bodies were just absolutely shocked. That was shocking. There was so, rust all over. Yeah. And rust in the dry. door hinges. The doors yeah. weren't even, the back doors weren't closing properly. No, they were, you could see there were holes mm. through to the wheel. Yeah, no, it mm. was just shocking. And I said to Dwayne, you know, I said to him, well, we mustn't get carried away because I know what we like. Mm. We're going to get very excited, very emotional by it. And yeah, luckily we, we, were, we didn't. We were sensible. We yeah. found our friend who advised us where to look. And he also said, no, it doesn't sound good. Mm. So then we came home, had to rethink the plan. We thought, right, we need to look at different models, different mm. makes, and up the budget. Because we had also had some advice from some friends of ours, well, some other YouTubers, uh, our new tribe. Mm. <laughs> and uh, they said, yeah, rather just try and up the budget and yeah. go for a better base vehicle. And that was really good advice. So thank you, B and Theo <laughs> from Indie Project. That was great advice. Uh, so we started looking at different makes and models. Yeah, yeah I wasn't friend of mine too keen actually sent us a a link for a, a VW Crafter, two thousand thirteen VW Crafter mm -hmm. that was on eBay uh, in a private ad, and um, yeah, we weren't keen on. Well, Karen definitely was very <laughs> against the VW Crafter, but that's another story for another day. Yeah. I said, well, let's go look at. Um, got there and just fell in love. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the, like, the last three letters in the license plate is PGE. So it's like, oh, page, a new page in our book. It's a sign. <laughs> I like signs. <laughs> and, and so that's where we're yep. sitting right now. You're in so, page. So we ripped out all the panelling and the flooring and... Um, Went a bit mad on the I, I, I had a steel, uh, well, a wire brush and I, I was picking at all the little pieces of rust or suspected rust. Yeah, there's um, actually not as much rust yeah, as not, what it looks no, like. No, there were actually there were only a couple of little pieces, but I then decided no, every single hole, every single join is getting this stuff on. Mm. So that looks like I made a scene. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. It might be a bit over the top. It might be unnecessary, but I had the paint. Well, <laughs> uh, like Greg Virgo said, you can't do any harm exactly <laughs> by doing it. Exactly. Uh, yeah, well, so he had to actually restrain me because I just wanted to paint the whole van. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, Well, no, that's a bit ridiculous. Uh -huh. Our plan is to do our own self build. We're going yeah. to the NEC tomorrow yes. to the camping, caravanning, and motorhome show, I think yeah. it's called. <laughs> and we're going purely to look at camper vans, layouts. try and steal some layouts because we've got a very good idea of what all we want to put into the van, but we haven't quite decided how we're going to fit it all in. and and how to make best use of the space. So we're Arguments gonna go. Have started already. Yeah, we've started <laughs> arguing daily. So we're gonna go have a look at some uh, vans, get some inspiration, yeah. finalize our layout so that we can start putting electrics in in the right places. Yeah. Where we're gonna put our batteries, you know, those kind of things need those decisions need to be made so that we can. And no sneaky changing move floor on. plans while I'm in South Africa for a week mm. at a family wedding. You're my witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and obviously, like we do, we're going to document it yeah. and uh, share it with you guys. It's yeah. not necessarily going to be a how-to, no. <laughs> possibly a how-not-to. <laughs> yeah. It's our first uh, try, but we've been watching a lot of videos. Hopefully it'll be interesting and entertaining. Yeah. We have done a lot of research. We've, yeah. we've thought about what it is we want to put in. Uh, like I said, we've just not figured out their layout, but we know what we want to put in it. Yeah, I think uh, one of the biggest reactions we've had from people is like, wow, I wish we could do that. And I'm hoping that when we're sharing this and you can see how simple it actually is. I mean, a van's achievable. Anybody can buy a van. They're mm. not that expensive. So we're hoping like the other van lifers that we can inspire people that you don't have to give up your whole life. I mean, you don't have to go to a full time, but this gives you so much more scope to be able to go on more holidays mm. and more getaways. And I think the more you do that, the more you fall in love with the li the lifestyle, the more you'll make changes to make that happen in your life. And I think that's, I think people just need that courage to take the first step mm. and, and to see it doesn't have to be a abandon everything and just go kind of thing. You, know, you can go for the summer, you can go for a holiday, you can go for a weekend. But I think the first step is getting your van because it just makes travel that much more accessible because it's so expensive otherwise, isn't it? The van over a caravan is what we've always been asked. And that's because of stealth parking and airs in Europe. One of the big things from our trip that we discovered that we also yeah. confirmed. We tried a number of yeah. airs and it was just so easy. And it was like, I, I was skeptical when we first said we're going to go try airs. We were on a very I tight was budget. Like, I don't understand how you can get these places to park for free and they have free electric and free water and free disposal. I mean, these places must be dumps. <laughs> And when we got there, so every single air other than one was like 
<laughs> it was really nice. You remember that one in Chafenti that was right oh, near that sad. running, yeah. there was like a rapids river. In, in the summer they do rapid uh, river rafting right there from the site. Um, and we were parked there next to this yeah, river. And you can't Beautiful. do that with a caravan. With caravans you have to no, stay. No, you can't, you can't pitch your on. caravan <laughs> in the parking lot. You need to stay on. on and, that, and that would have just made it ridiculously expensive. Whereas this way, if we can keep the budget down, we're not paying for stopovers. Well, you know, we'll obviously stay at campsites here and there. But if for the majority of the time, you're not paying for stopovers. We avoided toll roads. Yeah. We proved that as well. 12, All 12 of those euros we spent on tolls. Yeah. In the to get week. from I mean, Pisa, it, but pretty much, Pocket Bonzi. To, uh, yeah. All the way to the UK. Yeah, 12, 12, 12 euros on. Can be done. Across the Alps. <laughs> yeah, can be done. You just got to pick your All through Switzerland. <laughs> we, did, we chose when we went to Switzerland, you can yeah. buy a vignette for like 37 or 39 euros, yeah. um, and that allows you to travel on all their toll roads. And uh, we, we, for two reasons, uh, well, no, probably three or four. We, we wanted to save money. Yeah. We wanted to see the scenery. Yeah. And We've always said that if you don't see senior on a toll road, mm -hmm. you see speed. <laughs> yeah, um, but also, you know, we needed to prove to ourselves that you could do it. Yeah, because uh, all of that we cheaply. had to obviously. We didn't keep... have the money at the time, did we? Yeah, but I mean, even you know, one, once we do it, we're going to be on a very tight budget because mm. obviously we have to still maintain the house. Yeah, we've got to run two households. So you know, if it was just a question of us, then it would have been fine. Mm. Mm. I think the biggest thing where we're going to increase the budget is on experiences. So maybe yeah. doing more things, and yes. that will obviously then increase as we get yeah. more money, as we get more more time, and we go to more places. Especially with Katie, you know, there's a lot of things that I'd really like her to experience. So I think that's probably going to be the biggest part of the budget. But then we'll factor that in as we go along. Thank you. Well, we hope that uh, gives you a bit of a better idea of what our plans are, and we hope you're going to follow us and like and subscribe. Smash the like button, subscribe, oh. hit the <laughs> notifications. <laughs> And I will try and get him to do more editing because he's in charge of the editing. Mm. I do the photography. I can be quite the stills slow are mine. getting the editing done. I will try and crack the whip, make him work less on the van and put some of that mm. time into the editing. And we need to streamline our editing as well anyway because we eventually would like to do daily vlogs when we're traveling. Yeah. So we need to learn to do this quicker. And yeah, so we hope you join us. Thank Should you. be interesting if nothing else. <laughs> Should definitely be entertaining. <laughs>